As we've mentioned in previous articles, Dino Stalker must have one of the more stupid plots ever to grace PS2. So we'll gracefully gloss over that and mention the important fact that, despite the storyline, it's actually fun to play. For what it's worth, the plot sees you, a World War II pilot, running around a dinosaur-filled landscape after some sort of spatial and temporal anomaly. We did warn you, don't ask. Thankfully, the action is much simpler, requiring only that you run around the landscape, investigating wooden crates, collecting weaponry and time bonuses while shooting dinosaurs. Don't forget to shoot the dinosaurs, that bit's important. The clock in the top right of the screen provides a countdown to the end of humanity. So if you can exterminate the dino threat by then, that would be a good idea. And to help you in this endeavor, there are plenty of fun weapons lying around in the most unlikely places. Inside crates, under rocks, and even being pulled around by the dinosaurs, who presumably don't have the hands to master the use of a rocket launcher. Controls are pretty basic, with one stick to move and the other to aim. But things can become a bit tricky when trying to target on airborne opponents and in a couple of other tight spots. Much better then to make use of the game's G-Con 2 light gun compatibility. The gun's fun, we like the gun. On the downside, the range of dinosaurs is sadly lacking, and they pose even less threat. Playing the game on the easy level is just a joke, and even on normal difficulty settings, it only lasts you the afternoon. But despite this, there's still a certain something that'll keep you coming back for some more hostile negotiations. Probably the fact that it's simple, quick fun, with a light gun.